The following podcast is brought to you by Thrive. Manage, run, and grow your business all from one dashboard using one login. Small business runs better on Thrive. Hey, hey, this is Gordon Henry at Winning on Main Street. Today, we're sharing some big news, bittersweet news, because we're moving on. Yes, after hosting Winning on Main Street for over four and a half years, since May 2019, 206 episodes, we've decided it's time to pass the baton to a new host with a new format. So that's the bittersweet part. Sad to be ending something great, but excited to bring in a partner who can carry on the show to new levels. In just a minute, you'll meet our new host, Mr. Jay Schwedelson, who listeners may remember we interviewed in the November 2nd episode of Winning on Main Street. Jay is a successful small business owner himself, runs a marketing agency, and I had a chance to catch up with Jay at his office in Florida recently to talk about the new direction he'll be taking with the show and the new name he's given the show. Here's our conversation. A small business has always been my life. Uh, I've been running a advertising agency for uh, 20 some odd years now, and we've grown that from a very small business into a uh, about a hundred person organization. But we've also started some other small businesses, a real estate firm, uh, a media company. And, you know, I've had this journey of understanding what it takes to start a small business, to grow a small business, the bumps and the hurdles that you have to overcome. And there's so much to it. There's, you know, not just the the stress that you have in a small business, sure. but it's how do you find the right people? How do you market it? How do you finance it? How do you get your bills collected? How do you do everything? And so I'm excited to share all of that. And, and you know, as a listener of this podcast, I've learned so much from it. Thanks. So to be able to participate is fantastic. Yeah, terrific. Um, you have a new name for the podcast. What's the new name? So the new name, I'm excited to say it, is Small Business Quick wins. What do you think? I love it. Yeah. Really gets the point across. It does. And the, here's the goal. Uh, you know, we want to take the the vibe that is winning on Main Street, bringing together all these incredible thought leaders and experts in the field, but also getting down to the very tactical. You know, small business owners are wearing 400 hats. They're not just wearing 10 hats. They're wearing like 400. <laughs> and they need quick wins. What can they do really quickly that doesn't cost them a boatload of money that can impact their business? So that's the direction that we want to take this thing. And, and we think there's a lot there. That's fantastic. And you'll be interviewing small business owners as well as probably industry experts. That's exactly right. So it's a combination of people that are living it right in all sorts of different industries. But also let's get you know the people that are really running, let's say, the social media networks on here to say this is exactly what you have to do. Or let's get the people on here to talk about how to hire the exact right person uh, because those things will impact your business. So it's a combination of hearing people that are actually living it and then hearing the solution providers uh, that you need to leverage in order to accomplish uh, the goal. So it's going to be a mix of both. But every single episode is going to be filled with something that by the time it's over, you can literally stop listening and try to impact your business. Yeah, love it. Thrive, uh, our parent company who has been behind Winning on Main Street for these four years, will continue to be the sponsor and the company behind uh, Jay's new show, Small Business Quick Wins. And I think that's great because Thrive is a great tool for small businesses and will continue to be evolving and uh, a part of many of the companies that you talk to, I'm sure. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Thrive on this because it is something that can really, truly help the small business owner. And getting small businesses to figure out whether it's by their own devices or often through other companies they partner with or learn from, what are some of the systems they can put in, computer systems, financial systems, and so forth, to make the business more repeatable? And that's because that's how you scale businesses and get past that stage where it's all you and you can have a company that other people can do the work and also that you can eventually sell if that's what you want to do. Oh my God. That is like, it gives me a sense of pause. Like, man, that is what we all need to focus on is not just being in it, but trying to build the actual business. And I love that. And that's the perspective that, you know, hopefully we can help to share with the audience. Um, and it's going to be very interactive. You know, we want the audience to participate also, you know, what, They'll be able to share what is it that's on their minds, what are things that they're hearing, what are pitfalls they're trying to avoid. 
Uh, so this is exciting. Lots of interesting stories out there and people who've uh, uh, come out of nowhere, you might say, to become big successes. That's amazing. Well, it's going to be fun. Small business, quick wins. It's going to be something we will carry on the tradition of winning on Main Street. And I'm just excited to be on the ride. So that's a taste of what's to come with Jay. And I'm sure it will be a great continuation of what we've done with winning on Main Street, a continued focus on small business owners and entrepreneurs with an emphasis on quick wins, the tips and techniques you need to succeed today. That's it. It's been a terrific, memorable run, and I hope winning on Main Street has made a difference for you if you're running or thinking about running a small business. We believe small business is the lifeblood of the American economy, indeed the global economy, and that's why we're dedicated to helping you succeed. Before we sign off, I want to say first a big thank you to our amazing guests. I've been thrilled and honored to meet the many small business owners, experts, and investors who took time out to speak with us. You have the spirit and the energy to make great things happen. You're too many to name, but all 206 of you have been a delight. Thank you for the great conversations and great insights. I also want to thank our amazing Winning on Main Street team behind the scenes who made all this possible. Tim Alima, our producer. Tim's the behind the scenes expert who does all the little things that make the show sound great and seamless and easy. Diet Barnett, who booked our guests. This is the thankless, constant job of finding the right talent, booking them, following up, and making sure everybody is in the right place at the right time. Thank you, Diet. Daniel Huddleston, who worked on analytics and told us who our audience was and wasn't, hugely important to the success of our podcast and any podcast. And Vikram Das, who joined the team recently and worked on show notes and all the materials that made the podcast a great package. Thank you, uh, all of you, and thank you for your hard work and dedication. Finally, I wanna thank Thrive, our parent company and sponsor, and all of the great people at Thrive who make Thrive's award-winning software platform. For all of you small business owners and managers, Thrive will help your business run better and grow faster. And our fanatical support team will be there for you 24 seven to make it all feel easy and effortless. Check us out at thrive.com. As always, until next time, make it a great week. Oh, 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 oh,